catching up with an old friend. This is really fun. Oh, he's on my Instagram like two days ago or something like that. I put up a thing and um, I was like, oh, I might like do a QA. and a um, So, you know, leave your questions. And surprisingly people did. And I got like eight questions, two of them from immediate family members. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Actually, one was from my friend, one was from my brother. And then one from my brother, I'm just not gonna read. You know why. Okay, so the first one is from Tessa Life, and she said, just wanted to let you know that I really tell your vids and I'm starting my gap year from last August. So I wanted to start with this one because it's not really like a, not really like a question, but just like a reflection because um, I actually figured out how to work Instagram like a month ago. <laughs> Hey, hey booze who got messages for me, but I realized that Instagram like filters your DMs. I was getting any of, the mess any of the messages that were like being sent to me by you guys. And I started opening them up like a month ago. It was like, I think it was right around the first week I was here. So it was like the end of August or the first week of September. And <laughs> it was actually kind of astonishing. And like I've gotten comments on my channel before, but um, there were a couple of really nice messages of people who like literally took gap years because of what I have said. Um, which feels fake. And I feel like that should not be allowed. Um, I actually think that we should take that back and maybe nobody should make decisions based on what I say. Um, <laughs> just, just a thought. No, like all kidding aside, like that was really kind of special because sometimes it really feels like I'm speaking into the void here. But, oh, another thing, my gap year video has hit 17,000 views and I cannot comprehend that amount of people. And like, I know that that's the point of YouTube is like people will see your 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 stuff, but like, that's just like a really terrifying number and um, an exciting number. And actually, please, because YouTube is starting to put ads on my videos and um, I've hit my watch hours, like I'm like way over my watch hours, but I'm just, I'm getting subscribers and then I can like start to get monetized because YouTube is already using, they're already using ads to all my videos. So just please, you know, if you're thinking of it. Oh, also this was the fortune today. I don't, I don't know why people, I, I pick these up every day, but today it says an alien of some sort will be appeal, appearing to you shortly. I read that this morning, a weird way to start your day. An alien has not appeared to me today, but unless they're wearing like a human skin suit, I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just wanted to start with that little message because that's just really wild and I really appreciate like all of your messages to me and, and comments and um, yeah, it definitely like puts a little bit of more of a feeling of like responsibility because I don't know, during COVID I like didn't interact with anybody so I didn't have like, I didn't, I didn't feel like a lot of times in my life there were consequences for my actions, like even in positive ways and I think this is a positive thing but it's just, it's very cool to see like a like not a consequence that's like a bad way to put it. that's like that's like scary but like that it you know and I, I had some sort of effect in the world not like just in my own head <laughs> okay so my first question is for my bff andre um andrea she's actually back here she's in my um, like getting out of the house video that was us like in oregon together and she wrote what is the best coffee shop in scotland so far what's your go-to order Okay, well, one thing that I have noticed about Scotland is that they do not have coffee. Like they have, obviously they have coffee, but they don't have like drip coffee anywhere. It's so hard to find. And if you find it, it's always more expensive than actual like lattes. So I usually go for like an Americano because it's the closest thing to coffee coffee. But sometimes I get tired of Americanos because it's like, it's like drinking almost coffee, but it's not coffee. So sometimes I'll get a latte and I think that I was at a latte like three weeks ago. I was I was at a cafe like three weeks ago and I ordered a regular latte. But I think they gave me a pumpkin spice latte because it kind of tasted bad and I don't know why. Like it wasn't good. But I think that's just because I generally don't love pumpkin spice lattes. I don't know, but it wasn't like, it wasn't overtly, you don't care. <laughs> but the best coffee shops, so the ones that I have really been loving um, is August 21st. That is like a really a, a good one. I've like gone into work there a couple of times, um, and they're just like really nice to me there. So I like I like the vibe. Like they're just like nice people, and they have good stuff. Kilimanjaro has like that's on like the sort of like the main street. Like I think it's St. Leonard's maybe, 
and they have like really good like baked goods like I've had a scone and tea there so good and I, I went there with some friends and they loved the chai lattes there oh but then I went to one today I forgot the name of it but it'll be in next week's video or this week's I don't know when it's gonna go up uh, so the next question is what books have you been reading lately so today I actually actually finished a book I haven't done that in a while um, I just actually books I've been reading lately I read The Lion Game by Ruth Ware that's what I that was my plane book because I usually bring a book for the plane because I don't know why something about a plane like just motivates me to read because it's like I I have a hard time like not binging books if that makes any sense like I I either have to like read a book all the way through or I, I have a really hard time like picking up a book and like putting it down and then picking it up again like I have to have time to read so I, a plane is just like always a good option for me um I liked that one it wasn't my favorite Ruth Ware book I really liked In a Dark Dark Wood from Ruth Ware Cabin 10 and I even I liked Death of Mrs. Westaway better. I've read a lot of Ruth Ware. I really like her. But then I finished All the Light We Cannot See. I don't know the author's name. It's a really famous book from a couple of years ago. It was a really like beautiful book. It was almost like, it kind of reminded me of like Where the Crawdads Sing, but it's about like World War II and not like this, like not about the same thing, but just like the, it was one of those books that like it's two timelines and they like weave together and you're like not really sure how. It's not a murder mystery either. I'm painting a very bad picture of this, but it's about World War II and it was just like a really beautiful, just a really beautiful story. So I, I recommend that too. And all these are recommended to me from my mom because she knows, she's, she knows what's what with books. Some other ones that I really loved, I love like murder mystery, like books. So Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell so good that's a high i highly recommend that one. Oh, where the crawdad sing i mean that's just a great one but then the the one that i really loved um from spring break was the vanishing half i don't remember the author for that one but that was a really good book too i highly recommend any of those you leave for a whole day exploring edinburgh what essentials do you pack <laughs> i will tell you okay so let's see so definitely my headphones today the weather changed 500 times so i wrote my raincoat um, I finally got some cash, so I do bring that, um, like the currency for Scotland. Charger with, like the adapter thing. A water bottle. And then my umbrella, but this umbrella is really bad. Actually, it's broken, so I don't even think if I open it, it's gonna work, but I brought it just in case. Oh, some hand sanitizer. But it's almost running out because I've been using it and I haven't gotten sick. I wear my mask, I'm washing my hands like crazy, and everybody has a cold. I don't have a cold. I also think it's just kind of luck because I don't, I don't know. I want a pen because that's sensible. What is my favorite moment from exchange so far? And that's from Jazz's stories on YouTube. Go look her up. She's, she has a really um, nice channel. She lives in Finland and um, her vlogs are so beautiful. Honestly, <laughs> this is gonna be a lame answer, but the first like couple of days I was here were like probably some of the most exciting because everything was new and I just kind of wandered around the city that I had like seen in pictures, you know, for a year and a half and that was just like really exciting and I just like wandered around random, went into random churches and that's sort of like my favorite thing to do on like, like days where like I'm studying abroad is I just like start walking and like see where the day takes me and I used to do that like at my college at home. It's just like, I don't know, it's just, it's like the way that like I enact my freedom like I'm not like a wild like party teen like me I go on like long walks and like maybe get some cake and like that's exciting <laughs> but yeah that has been a really good moment um honestly the day where there were like 400 rainbows that was crazy I think anytime too that like I'm walking around the city at night and you see like the castle lit up it's just like it's very surreal or like when you're on Arthur's seat and you see the skyline, like that's, um, those are some of my favorite moments. There's also just one day where I was like wandering around and I found Dr. Neil's garden, which that's been in some of my videos. And um, there were just like a bunch of swans and there was a like a graveyard. And um, I love those moments where it's just like kind of, <laughs> you can tell I'm such an introvert with this. Like when I'm just like wandering around, like, you know, on a walk, enjoying a nice day. Like those are some of my favorite moments. Um, also, anytime I'm eating gelato. <sighs>